lockdown day 33 and gonna keep this nice and short and sweet if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe right now and hit that like button and welcome to the party anyway listen let's cover first of all what's been going on with Trump over the last week has caused one of his friends Piers Morgan has forced him to come out and call him out on what has been the most ridiculous week in his presidency where he's come out on the podium and he just has no idea what he's talking about what Piers Morgan has actually done is called him out, told him to get off the podium, leave it to the doctors and the scientists. They're the ones who we need to hear from. And he's told Donald Trump to get a back seat. That has now been answered by Trump, who's unfriended Piers Morgan. Yeah, so imagine you couldn't even come back at him with any names or you couldn't come back and say you're a nasty person, you're fake news, which is what you've been telling all the reporters all week. You couldn't come back to him, you know why? Because Piers Morgan probably has a bigger following than you do. And Piers Morgan at times actually talks sense. And Piers Morgan called you out. And that's the reason why you didn't even come to the table and try and down talk him because Piers Morgan probably would have come back and blown you up. So listen, you only pick on the people who you want to pick on, but when it comes to the big fights, you can't handle that one, can you? So anyway, that's enough of that. The car industry is going through somewhat of a dip right now. And I remember the last time this happened in the last recession in 2008, they'd done something called cash for clunkers. And what that did is it made people who were driving vehicles that were old and gazzle guzzlers, they gave them a 4,500 rebate on those gas cars to ensure that they had money to go in and actually buy new cars and obviously get the old clunkers off the road so in order for them to get over this right now the government are going to have to step in and put in a package to help car dealerships and to help people get on the road i know there's already electric car package that's been going around which is two and a half thousand or three and a half thousand and that's been helping the electric car bus for quite a while but they're going to have to do something for people who might not want an electric car or might just want to stay on the ladder because right now they're not selling any cars. And if the car industry goes down, that's gonna be something huge and massive. Remember, GM and uh, quite a few other companies, Chevrolet, they filed for bankruptcy in 2009. It was only Ford that was the only company able to stay afloat in the West, yeah, in the UK and, and, and America. So how will that work now when this is gonna be probably worse than that? This year was gonna be a down year for car sales anyway because of the rise of electric vehicles. So a lot of things are gonna be happening now where they've got to do something to try and bail them out. So let's just sit back. It's the same thing with housing. Anybody who plans to buy a house, the best thing to do now is sit back and watch the market devalue itself and capitulate into obviously the low interest rate that we're seeing now and the house prices go down at least 10 to 15%. That's when you can start to jump back in the market and take advantage of house prices. If a house was 400,000, the chances are it's gonna be somewhere around 300, 325,000 in the long run because they just won't be able to sell houses with the amount of people that are gonna be struggling for money or struggling for jobs. We already know that in the last five weeks, there are 24 million Americans that are out of a job. We still don't have a number for the UK yet because they don't really release those figures. But we do know that there are thousands and thousands, probably millions of people in the UK that will be without a job when this comes out. So the, the chances are you're, you're going to take advantage around the September, October, November stage of this year and get yourself a good deal. Get on the ladder. Don't do it now because things haven't kind of ridden themselves out. But just wait until that market reaction happens and then you'll be able to jump on the ladder and get yourselves a good deal whether you're buying a car or whether you're buying a next house the other thing i wanted to cover off is guys and we're gonna continue to talk about this on my sunday night football podcast show we're gonna talk about what's happening in the dutch league right now it is the first official league in europe to void the actual league now this is something that ajax was tying i think they were only winning on goal difference but the league is now voided. 
which means there would be no winner, no championship trophy gifted out to any winners whatsoever, no prize money, no nothing. Everything is going to be completely voided. And that's good because what that does in a way is it, 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 it shuts off the level playing field and it allows them to regroup and reorganize the next season. And that's something that they can focus on whether they start the next season late, whether they, it allows them to plan and shuffle the schedule accordingly. And what this does is, for me, in my opinion, and this is what I'm going to be talking about on tomorrow's show, it sets a precedent for what the other leagues do. The Dutch league, fair enough, it's the Dutch league, yeah? But if the French, the Italian, the German league, the Italian league, Spanish league, if any of those leagues follow suit, it can send a ripple throughout Europe that all the other leagues are going to have to follow, which means the Premiership and Liverpool's are going to stand less chance of finishing and more chance of the season com being completely void and wiped out. And Liverpool have a 25 point gap, yeah? That means that there will be no winner, no Champions League spots. They'll probably go to last year's finish where Arsenal finished fifth. And if Man City are out, that means Arsenal qualify for the Champions League. I know it sounds nuts, but this is something that is becoming a reality, guys. It is no longer something that we are talking about and, and it's fiction and it's hearsay. This is something that is starting to happen as we speak. So it'd be really good to have you guys' views on what obviously Liverpool fans are going to be crying right now. They don't want to hear any of this stuff that's going on. But for now, guys, I really want to hear your, what, what your feedback is on this because this can set a precedent which is going to absolutely blow up the whole of the season. And what? Look, I don't care. I'm an Arsenal fan. We were so bad, we changed managers. Yeah? I don't really care. And I would love the fact that it would give them the time to reschedule next season in a proper manner where it will give teams a pre-season, yeah? And at least some kind of qualifications that they can get ready for for next year's Europe as well. But anyway, that's enough from me. Like and subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm hearing a lot from you guys in terms of your well-being and how things are going on. So keep those messages coming through. It really is nice to hear how you guys are getting on. But listen, as I said before, hold it down, people. Hashtag stay home. Hashtag with me. Peace. I'm out.